Hello Aries, welcome to Love Reading. We're gonna be looking at how your person is feeling about you, thinking about you. What are their intentions or next possible actions towards you? All of that will be um, discussed in this reading. Uh, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Aries watching. Take what resonates for you. So let's jump right in for Aries. Tell me about Aries. What is their person thinking about, feeling about Aries or this connection? That's very person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with at this time for Aries would like to know about what this person is thinking. When it comes to Aries, what do we need to know? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, five of pentacles, okay. The Eight of Swords. Okay, this one wanted to show itself. Eight of Swords, and I'll put the King of Swords kind of over here because kind of just wanted to pop up. Wow, the Emperor. Aries energy at the bottom of the deck. Well, interesting. I sense someone holding back. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. And it's like while they hold back, time passes. Let's see. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aries? What do, not Aries, you are the emperor. Hmm. Maybe you're intimidating or this person's intimidated by you, afraid to face you. Okay, sorry. Let me just get my bearings here. <laughs> what are this person's feelings? thoughts, energies, towards Aries. What are their energies towards Aries? Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. What are this person's energies towards Aries? What are their energies towards Aries? Breathe in. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. Meditation, healing, rest. Hmm. Difficult decision at the bottom of the deck. This person, oh, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a very interesting reading already. I'm just kind of like bracing myself. It's almost like this is somebody that's trying to find the courage and can't. Now with new love, romance is in the air. This might be someone new that you are dealing with, that you're meeting. Maybe they are a bit insecure. Pure. Who knows? Let's see. We will clarify and get more um, insight. What are this person's thoughts, feelings towards Aries? I'm ready to commit. We need to talk. Ooh. Yeah, this is somebody that has something to say. Please wait for me at the bottom of the deck. I mean, we can't wait forever, dude. Or gal. <laughs> I just get that energy of you just not being... I mean, Aries, we're not... I say we because I'm an Aries moon. Not very patient. Um, and also, when we want something, we just go and get it. So it's it's kind of, we you know, there's kind of like um, questions that an Aries might have about why what's taking so long, you know? Why can't you just get this done? I'm ready to commit, but please wait for me. We need to talk. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Tell me about temperance. What's this temperance energy about? Tell me about temperance. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who is very scared. Intimidated, like I said earlier. And I'm trying to figure out why. If this is someone that you already know from your past, Aries, I feel like this this would be like a whole new connection. Because um, I'm getting this sense almost like if you already know somebody, right? 
if you already have a history with someone, why would be why would they be so scared to approach you unless you're not expecting them to approach you? But I'm getting this this fear is almost like a fear of the unknown. So it's I don't know, it's it's really weird. It's like this person that brings a page of pentacles, but they really have no idea. It's like they're working up the courage just to do that small thing. And I don't know if this is someone from your past that would do that. If this is someone from your past, I sense that it might be like old, um, an old history. Anyways, let's, let's keep going. What's this? Nine of Swords shows up again. Queen of Cups. Oh yeah, there's this person's terrified. And, I'm, and it, 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 because they're scared, they're taking longer to get this done. There's the Five of uh, Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So maybe this person's like worried about a fight or worried about conflict you know maybe like they're thinking well if i approach aries and i talk to them they're gonna be like w you know this this king of swords like what do you want <laughs> you know tell me about this four of pentacles tell me about the four of pentacles why is the four of pentacles here why is the four of pentacles the chariot cancer energy tell me about the four of pentacles i think that they're they, ha they have feelings for you with this queen of cups i feel this person would need to be vulnerable seven of wands the hangman yeah they're ex they're expecting you to not be interested they're thinking you're going to be like this seven of wands what do you want? Why are you here? I don't understand why you're here or what you're saying or why you're saying it. Kind of, it's like they're expecting a challenge. And so they just sit and think. They hold back. When really they want to be a chariot, they want to come forward. Hmm. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why, why, is, I'm getting this message that someone has blonde hair, but why, why is that like important? I, I don't know. Maybe you recently dyed your hair blonde? I don't know, anyways. Eight of, eight of Swords, please. Why is the Eight of Swords here? What's going on with this Eight of Swords? Page of Wands, okay, another page here. This one. Two of Wands, okay, yeah. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. There's an internal battle that someone has. That's this difficult decision. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They want to come in quick. They want to do this quickly. There's a need, a desire to get this done. Um, this is somebody that wants to take action. Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. The Emperor is a doer, like I was saying. But I feel like there's, yeah, Ace of Swords. This person wants to come in and talk. We need to talk. But the problem is they're, they need to really get over their fear or whatever this stuck energy is. Eight of Swords, the Hangman, Nine of Swords. I feel like this is emotional. Like an emotional block. Like insecurity, fear. Tell me about this person's intentions, next actions towards Aries. Tell me about this person's intentions. Next actions towards Aries. Intentions. Next actions towards Aries. What do we need to know? Seven of Cups. Death. Wow. Scorpio energy. Queen of Wands. Well, I can. I can tell you that whoever this is, they're willing to take some sort of action. Death is here. And death is a, a change, a transformation, an ending that brings about a new beginning. It's like you could think of it as kind of an action card. Something's happening with death. Queen of Wands is here as well. And the Seven of Cups. I think that this person is going to come forward and be a Queen of Wands and be very like fearless and bold. 
And I feel like this is an act almost. Like this is someone that just just decides to just go for it, even though they don't, they don't feel very uh, strong or brave about it. Seven of Cups is almost like this person's thinking a lot about what it is they have to say or what it is that they have to do. But with Death and the Queen of Wands, it's like, I'm going for it. You know, I need to have, I feel like this conversation will bring about some sort of an, uh, a change to this transformation, to this connection, like transforming the connection. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there with the Queen of Wands. And let me see. Tell me about death. And with every ending, death is about an ending that brings about a new beginning. There's a sun rising in the back there. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Judgment. Wow. And the two of swords. Wow. Judgment. Huge. Huge energy there. An awakening. A, 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 I think whatever this person brings you, I think you're going to be the one that's going to be undecided. Like the tables turn. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. They're going to bring you an offer. I just picked up the deck and I was really curious to see what would show up here. They're going to bring you something and you're going to be the one that's going to be like, uh, what am I going to do about that? And again, it's like this person is undergoing a change or transformation on their own. You know, maybe they, they, they tend to be the meek, insecure, unsure, overthinking type. And then now they're showing up as a queen of wands energy. Someone that just goes for it, makes things happen. I feel like please wait for me is almost... You know, and, and maybe let's give this person a benefit of the doubt. Maybe they have a fear that has, or or maybe they're stuck. You know, they're stuck in a situation where they would have to like break free or, you know, take matters into their own hands. Because we already saw that they have what it takes. Like, it's like they want to take action. They want to make a move. They want to approach you. They want to be a knight of wands. Um... They just aren't able to. They have something to say. So I don't know if there's a, like someone else here involved because the seven of wands could also be that someone has to like face an obstacle or challenger. But I think a lot of you, this is mental. This is emotional. And it's, it's, it's going to take some time for them to like bring this to you. But once, once they bring this to you make no mistake it's going to be a very honest open conversation very serious conversation we need to talk we need to talk about us we need to talk about this or that like they're going to tell you something very important and i feel like you're going to have to respond to this and whatever response this is with the two of swords um it's going to change this connection in the future Could, could be dealing with Scorpio as well. But I think this is someone that they might even be asking for a second chance with judgment or to revive something with you. Um, and then it's going to be up to you. When they, when they do decide to talk to you, it'll be up to you to, to figure out what you, what you really want with this person. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. It's just a quick reading to get some insight into what your person's thinking or feeling at this time. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to enter to win a personal reading with me. It's all uh, in the description box. And hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.